let's look at airtime utilization. That's one of my favorite things because airtime is king. And, and it's really important because that's what the stations are going to benefit from, from having enough airtime to work. Uh, so this looks pretty good. Uh, we have, you know, based on the, the number of uh, APs we've got in our plan, we've got that set up pretty well, I think. Um, if you're deploying voice over Wi-Fi, voice likes about a 50% clear airtime utilization or better. So if I'm doing a visualization for airtime and I see, um, oh, we need to put in some capacity requirements, don't we? Yeah, so uh, let us see if we can put in some capacity requirements. Project coverage there, there requirements. Go. There we go. So let's go ahead and stop and edit that out and go back. So what we're gonna look at now is airtime utilization, but what we need to do is we need to set our capacity requirements. So we created this area, which is an inclusion area. We created an exclusion area of the, of the uh, in this case, the elevator is an exclusion area, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to measurement, I'm sorry, project and coverage requirements, and then we can define what those coverage requirements are. So ECHA House has its best practices, we could select different options that are you know, ruckus best practices. You'd select the area, edit the area. We've applied there, let's add the capacity. Let's add the devices. Now we said this building had 400. 400 laptops, if you've got 400 people, oh, let's each with a laptop, laptop, you're gonna to have to add some phones in there too. So click add devices and leave that at 400 because you said we had 400, so. Yeah, but mo majority of them were on the desktop, okay. right? Plugged in. Yeah. So everybody's got a lot. Everybody's got a smartphone. We'll say generic smartphone. And we'll say there's 200. Yeah, that's, that should be good. Let's delete that. That should be good right there. There's 450 devices in that area. And you can keep clicking the, clicking the add device option to add more and more devices if you want to. And you can change what they're doing. You can change it to VoIP or you can change it just to a normal service level agreement or a higher SLA. And that's going to give you a better approximation of what the user experience is going to be like so you can meet your client's expectations. Now, if you know the model that they have, you can actually go out to the Wi-Fi Alliance and look up the uh, capabilities of the individual devices. They'll have a listing of what channels they support, uh, what um, MIMO they support. So you can, you can plan around the actual devices here instead of using generics. But it does take you a few minutes to go out uh, to the Wi-Fi Alliance and use their product finder and you know, find the exact version that they're using. Here we go. So airtime utilization, we're, we're not too bad. We're uh, below 40% pretty much everywhere. We've got a couple orange, you know, more orange areas that are approaching 50% and right at 50, but nothing at 60. So this should work pretty well for voice if we had uh, voice applications running across here. That, that's uh, one big concern with voice is not just getting the signal strength you need is the airtime utilization because voice is not really that dependent upon data rate so much as it is clear airtime. And this, if you read this like a sentence across the top here, it's the name of the map looking at airtime utilization for your APs on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So it tells you exactly what the visualization is. And you come back and you can play around with the APs a little bit and tweak those areas out if you need to. And next to, uh, for my access points, hit the drop down there. Let's take a look and see what other choices we've got. I'll do this real quick. Okay. In case you guys are watching the video, you haven't noticed there are two of us driving. We just take turns. And it's much easier when you don't have somebody else telling you what to click on. So you notice that as I change that from 1 to, to 11, it changed the airtime utilization dramatically. I saw on this, I enabled... 2.4, 2.4, 2.4, made it 1, 6, 11. And if I come back here and I edit this and I, I change this back to um, from 11 back to, well, let's just say one, you notice it modifies the airtime utilization around there and sends it up a little higher because we've got some, 
some overlap in, in coverage.